battery 30%, 30%. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful Infant Jesus, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Dear Infant Jesus, your arms are outstretched to welcome us here and stretched over us to bless us. Help us spend this time in prayer to praise you and adore you. You indeed, our Lord and Saviour, you care for us and because of your care for us, you are with us to hear our petitions. Hear then our plea and graciously grant our petitions. We humbly invoke your powerful aid and ask this of you, Jesus, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. With faith in his providence, let us bring our petitions to him. We pray for priestly and religious vocations in set D. For all Christians, that they may appreciate the gift of ministry within the church. Help us, O merciful infant Jesus. For those who serve in church ministries, that they possess sincerity of heart, firmness of hope, and purity of intention in their service to God and His Church. Help us, O merciful Infant Jesus. For Christian families, that their homes may be sanctuaries where children can hear the call of God. Help us, O merciful Infant Jesus. For parents and educators, that they may know how to hand on the faith to their children effectively. Help us, O merciful Infant Jesus. For vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, that young persons may courageously respond to God's call to give their lives totally to the service of God in the Church. Help us, O merciful Infant Jesus. For those who struggle in their vowed commitment, that the mystery of God's deep love may strengthen them in their crises. Help us, O merciful Infant Jesus. Advent Intentions 
that we may prepare faithfully for the second coming of the Lord. Help us, O merciful infant Jesus, that we may share the joy of the birth of Christ with those around us. Help us, O merciful infant Jesus. We pray for our personal intentions. O Jesus, you said, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I knock, I seek, I ask that my prayer be granted. O Jesus, you said, all that you ask of the Father in my name, he will grant you. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I humbly and urgently ask your Father in your name that my prayer be granted. O Jesus, you said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Through the intercession of Mary, your most holy mother, I feel confident that my prayer will be granted. Let us pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. O infant Jesus, I know you love me and would never leave me. I thank you for your presence in my life. Merciful infant, I believe in your promise of peace, blessings, and freedom from want. I place every need and care in your hands. Lord Jesus, may I always trust in your generous mercy and love. I want to honour and praise you now and forever. Amen. Prince of Peace, O gentle Saviour, hearken, hearken as we sing. With the angels o'er the stable, we adore our infant King. Peace on earth to men of good will, sang the angels from on high. Peace, O oh peace, dear infant Saviour, tis the burden of our cry. From the manger thou hast power o'er the hearts and souls of men. Only raise thy hand in blessing, peace on earth will reign again. Bless the world, O oh infant Saviour, let all strife and turmoil cease. Bless the world, O oh infant Saviour, with a just and lasting peace. We have 21 letters this week, 16 were petitions, one thanksgiving letter, and four were private and confidential. The following are the petitions. Number one, for good physical and mental health and healing from anxieties and a sore throat. Number two, for the end to the COVID-19 pandemic and protection from the virus. Number three, for the conversion of sinners, especially those who have committed sacrilege and the grace to be able to forgive. Number four, for peace in families. Number five, for clarity in one's vocation. Number six, for successful application um, of Singapore citizenship. And lastly, for the, souls, for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed. The thanksgiving, thanks and praise to the Lord Jesus for blessing our family. 
Thank you. Today we begin a new chapter, chapter 2 on our meditation of prayer from the Catechism, titled The Tradition of Prayer. We are taking Article 2650. Prayer cannot be reduced to the spontaneous outpouring of interior impulse. In order to pray, one must have the will to pray. Nor is it enough to know what the scriptures reveal about prayer. One must also learn how to pray. Through a living transmission, the sacred tradition, within the believing and praying church, the Holy Spirit teaches the children of God how to pray. My dear friends, today's article is very needful and interesting because we always think that spontaneous prayer is, you know, very good and very, how to say, uh, very true. But from today's article, it seems to imply that there is some danger. And there is also, in a sense, to, to say that there is a certain sense of superficiality in just relying on spontaneous outpouring of interior impulse. Because interior impulse means what we say whatever we want and we feel, you know. It may be wrong. We may not know exactly what is inside. The interior impulse doesn't mean you say to God, it all comes from the Holy Spirit. No. It may come from your own spirit or worse still, from something else. So, that's why the church, or in true prayer, there is always an, a will to want to pray. And that will then unites ourselves with that of how the Lord wants us to love Him. And thus to know how to love Him, we need then to learn how to love Him, who He really is. And thus the need of revelation or understanding revelation and learning it becomes essential. The Church, over the past 2,000 years, has inherited tradition from the Lord God Himself. First in the Book of Psalms, which has been inspired scripture. Next, down the centuries with the saints and the liturgy, we have learned the, the right way, right in the sense of honouring God and also the right teaching. That is what we mean by right. And in learning that, when we imbibe it truly into our hearts, then we learn truly how to then meaningfully relate to the Creator who has created us as creatures. We cannot just say whatever we want in that sense. Ultimately, the real interior impulse that is spontaneous comes ultimately from God. In terms of the praying as how the Spirit wants us to pray, like what St. Paul says in one of his letters, you know, where we do not know how to pray, the Spirit within us gives the impulse. This is not the same as the impulse from the Catechism, eh? the one that we think that whatever we say will be fine. Be careful. Litany of the Merciful Infant, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. O Merciful Infant Jesus, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, true God and Lord, have mercy on us. 
Infant Jesus, whose omnipotence is manifested in a wonderful manner, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose wisdom searches our hearts and minds, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose goodness continually inclines to aid us, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose providence leads us to our last end and destiny, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose truth enlightens the darkness of our hearts, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose generosity mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose power turns away all evils, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose justice deters us from sin, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose power conquers hell, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose lovely countenance attracts our hearts, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose greatness holds the universe in his hand, have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, whose merciful hand raised in benediction fills us with all blessings, have mercy on us. Be merciful. Spare us, O Jesus. Be merciful. Graciously spare us, O Jesus. From all evil. Deliver us, O Jesus. From all sin. Deliver us, O Jesus. From all distrust of your infinite goodness. Deliver us, O Jesus. From all doubts in your power of miracles. Deliver us, O Jesus, from all lukewarmness in your veneration. Deliver us, O Jesus, from all trials and misfortunes. Deliver us, O Jesus, through the mysteries of your holy childhood. We beseech you, hear us. Through the intercession of Mary, your Virgin Mother, and Saint Joseph, your foster father. We beseech you, hear us, that you would pardon us. We beseech you, hear us, that you would bring us to true repentance. We beseech you, hear us, that you would preserve and increase in us love and devotion to your sacred infancy. We beseech you, hear us, that you would never withdraw your merciful hand from us. We beseech you, hear us, that you would keep us mindful of your numberless benefits. We beseech you, hear us, that you would inflame us more and more with love for your sacred heart. We beseech you, hear us, that you would graciously hear all who call upon you with confidence. We beseech you, hear us, that you would preserve our country in peace. We beseech you, hear us, that you would free us from all impending evils. We beseech you, hear us, that you would give eternal life to all who act generously toward you. We beseech you, hear us, that you would pronounce a merciful sentence on us at the judgment. We beseech you, hear us, that you would in your miraculous image remain our consoling refuge. We beseech you, hear us, Jesus, Son of God and of Mary. We beseech you, hear us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Infant Jesus, hear us. Infant Jesus, graciously hear us. Let us pray. O Infant Jesus, cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender heart, so inclined to pity, be softened at our prayers. Take from us all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes with which we are laden. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers, and send us consolation and aid, that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen.
You have given them bread from heaven, having in itself all delight. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. You live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Mm-hmm. 